हेलो डियर ऑल वेलकम टू संदेश एजुकेशन अकेडमी आई एम संतोष वाघ सिद्ध प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फॉर चैप्टर डायरेक्ट एंड इनवर्स प्रोपोर्शन क्लास एट मैथमेटिक्स क्वेश्चन इज गिवन इन स्काउट कैम्प देर इज फुल प्रोविजन फॉर टू हंड्रेड कैरेट फॉर फोर्टी नाइन डेज इफ एटी मोर पर्सन ज्वाइन द कैम्प फॉर हाउ मेनी डेज विल द प्रोविजन लास्ट हियर दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑफ इनवर्स प्रोपोर्शन बिकॉज Your provision of food, food provision is fixed, isn't it? Food provision is fixed, so this is a case of inverse proportion. Inverse proportion. In inverse proportion, we know if one quantity increases, other decreases, isn't it? So, which are dependent quantities? Your number of cadets, number of cadets, two hundred. and number of days 49 days these number of cadets and number of days are dependent so if one increases other decreases isn't it so this is a inverse proportion because because food provision that is a food provision is fixed quantity is is fixed isn't it that's why it is a inverse proportion so what is given For two hundred, for two hundred cadets, food provision lasts for forty nine days, isn't it? For two hundred cadets, food provision lasts forty nine days. If we consider food provision is fixed and that as x quantity, x quantity, then two hundred into forty nine. If we take the multiplication, it will come x, isn't it? And that is fixed quantity. So in next scenario, now in next condition, eighty more person join means cadets will be here in new condition. Cadets will be two hundred plus eighty. That will equal to two eighty. Isn't it? Now cadets are increase. So surely these day these days will decrease. so let these days so let these days be y so let's consider so let's consider let's con consider the new days the new days is equal to y and as per our condition this multiplication number of cadets number of cadets into number of days that must be fixed isn't it and that fix is x we have just consider that is a food provision now from this equation 1 and 2 sorry here must be 280 because new cadets are 280 2 it into y that that is equal to x now from these two equations 1 and 2 as right sides right sides are equal these left sides must be equal so we can put the equation 200 into 49 that is equal to 280 Into y, so just solve this. We will get y is equal to y is equal to two hundred into forty nine divided by this two eighty. Because we just transfer this two eighty, which is in multiplication, will go in division. Now just solve this zero zero will get cancel. Then seven seven the nine forty nine seven four the twenty eight four on the four. Four five are twenty. Five and two, seven. That is equal to thirty-five days. So it is very simple. Just we have to clear our understanding that food provision is fixed, and this is the case of inverse proportion. Means multiplication of number of cadets into number of days. That is fixed quantity, and with the help of this, we can find that thirty-five days. So our answer is so how many days? So 35 days will be the provision last. So 35 days is our final answer. See so the practice question number two for chapter direct and inverse proportion class eight mathematics. Question is given. Ria could buy 80 books costing rupees 80 each from the local bookseller. There she approached to the publisher who offered her a 20% discount. Find the number of copies of books which she could buy from the publisher for the same money. Here. Our same money is there, so it is a case of inverse proportion. Case of inverse proportion. 
what is the meaning of this inverse proportion means quantity is fixed money is fixed and with that money in first condition in first condition she could buy 80 books but in the next condition cost is reduced 20% discount is given so obviously number of copies will increase isn't it as cost is reduced number of copies are will increase so this is the case of inverse proportion as money is as money is fixed quantity isn't it as same money so very simple now in first condition number of books see here in first condition number of books number of books are 80 isn't it and cost of book cost of each book that is given that is rupees 90 that is 90 is given so total money will be obviously total money will be multiplication of this 80 and 90 and that is equal to 7200 rupees isn't it so this will be the total money and that is fixed now in the next condition new cost of book new cost of book that is equal to 20% we got 20% discount isn't it what is the meaning of 20% discount 20% discount is nothing but if cost is 100 then new cost will be 80 that is the meaning of 20% if cost is 100 next cost will, cost will be 80 rupees but in our condition cost is our of 90 rupees so 90 into 80 upon 100 with this we can calculate the new cost of book and that is equal to this 0 0 will get cancelled 8 into 9 that is rupees 72 are you getting meaning of 20 percent if cost is 100 then with the help of 20 percent discount cost will be 80 but now our cost is 80 uh, 90 rupees so we must multiply this 80 by 100 to get the new cost that is 72 rupees now we know as this money is fixed this money is fixed so number of copies so number of new books if we consider as y then we must multiply this y into 72 to get 7200 isn't it so with the help of this inverse proportion formula we can write this 80 into 90 that is our money total money that will be equal to number of copies here are 80 in next condition we consider as y and our new cost is 72 these two multiplication must be equal isn't it so y is equal to 80 into 90 that is 7200 divided by 72 isn't it that is 7200 divided by 72 so we got y is equal to 100 isn't it 70 here 100 so our answer is very simple in next condition when publisher offered 20 percent discount then she could buy with the same with the same money number of copies are 100 this is all for this video thank you